a robot powerful enough to crack your skull, a safety chief who just got fired for saying so, and a $39 billion company that says everything is just fine. I'm Sarah Gibson, a college professor and an AI strategist, and I help people put AI into action. Figure AI is a humanoid robotics company backed by NVIDIA and valued at $39 billion. And right now, they're facing a lawsuit that should concern everyone paying attention to AI safety. Robert Grindel was Figure's head of product safety until September when he was fired, just days after warning executives that their robots pose serious dangers to humans. According to the lawsuit, Grindel told the CEO and chief engineer that the robots were powerful enough to fracture a human skull. He wasn't being theoretical. One of these robots had already carved a quarter-inch gash into a steel refrigerator door during a malfunction. Steel, not human flesh, steel. But here's where the story gets even more troubling. Grindel says that he was asked to present a comprehensive safety roadmap to prospective investors. He did, and then he watched as the plan was gutted. The same month, Figure closed a funding round that valued the company at $39 billion. He worried that it could be interpreted as fraudulent. Investors had based their decisions partly on safety commitments that were being abandoned. Picture this. You're working at a warehouse. A humanoid robot is moving boxes next to you. It malfunctions. And in seconds, you're facing a machine with enough force to fracture your skull, with no safety protocols in place to stop it. This is not science fiction. These robots are being deployed right now into warehouses and factories. The humanoid robot market is projected to reach $5 trillion by 2050, with accelerated adoption expected in the 2030s. Companies are racing to bring these machines to the market. Grindel's attorney says this may be among the first whistleblower cases related to humanoid robot safety, but it probably won't be the last. When safety concerns are treated as obstacles, not obligations, as the lawsuit alleges, we're setting ourselves up for preventable tragedies. The question isn't whether these robots will cause harm. It's whether we'll wait for someone to get seriously injured or killed before we take safety seriously. And by then, it may be too late for the person working next to that robot. If AI safety matters to you, subscribe to this channel and follow me for more insights on the real risk of AI deployment and who's actually protecting us.